Don't be the one who breaks the first window. Instead, repair any broken window as soon as it gets discovered. What do I mean? In criminology, the broken windows theory states that visible signs of even minor crimes, such as a broken window in an abandoned building, create an environment that suggests no one cares, which encourages further crime. However, this can be avoided if minor crimes are targeted immediately and broken windows are repaired straight away. The theory of broken windows can also be applied to software development, where broken windows translate to code smells. Here are my 7 favorite broken windows which are so easy to fix that there is literally no excuse to keep them unrepaired. Number 1. Unused usings. This can happen during refactoring or simply when trying different approaches to implement some functionality. But as most modern IDEs clearly indicate unused usings and even provide code fixes to remove them semi-automatically, this broken window can be fixed with almost no effort. Number 2. Empty AP documentation. When starting to type an AP documentation, IDEs often automatically generate some API documentation templates. Nevertheless, once the actual documentation is complete, make sure to remove any unwanted parts of the generated template to avoid noise. Number 3. Redundant comments. Ambitious developers might think that good code should be documented. While it is certainly a good idea to document why some code does what it does, Repeating what the code is doing is just noise in the best case and confusing in the worst case when the code starts to differ from the code comment. Therefore, remove such comments when you discover them. Number 4. Commented out code. When trying different approaches to find a proper solution for a given problem, it might be useful to temporarily comment out some intermediate code. However, such comments should definitely be removed before submitting the changes to the version control system to keep the code clean. Number 5. Too long lines. Even so monitors are getting wider and wider, code lines should remain relatively short. This ensures that the code remains perfectly readable in a side-by-side -side diff and even on a laptop screen. There is nothing more annoying than having to scroll code horizontally. Number 6. Too less or too much empty lines. Empty lines are essential for structuring the code by separating sections and paragraphs. Omitting empty lines at obvious places or leaving too many empty lines when submitting the code clearly indicates that the author does not care about the code. An unnecessary broken window that should be repaired immediately. Number 7. Typos. Even so the human brain is perfectly capable of understanding even the weirdest typos, they still decrease the readability of the code and may even lead to confusion for non-native speakers. The most sustainable solution to repair this broken window is of course to ensure that all team members install a good spell checker for their IDEs. The small things do matter. Therefore, take the few minutes it takes to repair these broken windows and then learn about the big things by watching this playlist next.